Ever wondered why winter felt a bit shorter this year? Or why summer felt unusually hot? Maybe you've noticed that the weather has been acting a bit, well, erratic? That, my friends, is the punchline to a very long joke called climate change. Imagine the Earth as a massive greenhouse. The sun beams down and our atmosphere traps some of that heat to keep us warm. It's a delicate balance that makes life possible. But what happens when we tip the scales? Over the past hundred years or so, we've been wrapping the Earth in extra layers of greenhouse gases, like a child bundling up for a snow day. Only, in this case, there's no snow in sight. These gases, like carbon dioxide from burning fossil fuels, methane from cows and landfills, and nitrous oxide from fertilizers, act like extra blankets, trapping more and more heat. So we've turned up the thermostat and now Earth is starting to sweat. Ice caps are melting, sea levels are rising, and storms are packing a bigger punch. It's like the Earth is saying, I'm not mad, just disappointed. But here's the kicker, we can fix this. Yes, the problem is serious, but so are we. It's time to roll up our sleeves and get to work. How? By reducing our emissions of greenhouse gases, drive less, eat less meat, use less energy. Sound tough? Maybe, but so is climate change, and fighting it will take more than just talk. And there's more. We need to deal with the carbon dioxide already in the atmosphere. Planting trees is a good start. They're nature's vacuum cleaners, sucking up carbon dioxide from the air. And let's not forget about renewable energy sources like solar and wind power. These are the superheroes in this story, providing us with energy without the nasty side effect of greenhouse gases. So the question isn't whether we're up to the challenge. It's whether we're ready to step up and take it on. The Earth has been our home for millions of years. Now, it's time to return the favor. It's time to be the heroes of our own story. To make sure that future generations can enjoy the same beautiful planet that we have. So get out there, plant a tree, ride a bike, turn off the lights. Every little bit helps. And remember, the best time to act was yesterday. The second best time, right now. Thank you for listening. And remember, the only thing hotter than our planet should be our resolve to save it.